Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from the Connecticut Science Center and I'm here with Nate who is going to show us something. We have all these colorful things in front of us. Yes, yeah, so what we're going to do today is we're actually going to change the color of the world around us. We're going to change the color of the... How can we change the color of things? So um, what we're going to do is we're going to change the color of light that's hitting those things and then okay. we're going to see different colors. I see. So if we think about um, sunlight or just uh, really good light bulbs, sure. they're what we call full spectrum light. Uh, okay. So uh, think about like a, a rainbow. The light comes down from the sun and it splits into all those colors. Right, like because, a prism. Like a prism, and, yeah. yeah. Uh, because that light has all those colors in it. Mm -hmm. now, now, if an object is a color, what it's doing is it's reflecting that color into my eyes. So the I sunlight see. comes down, hits that, and then blue hits my eyes. This is like right. a blue mirror. Gotcha, okay. Um, and if, um, if light comes down and hits the red part, Red hits your eyes? Exactly, it's like right. a red mirror, it's reflecting red. All right. Now if we think about the color black, like this table top, right. now light doesn't really reflect off of this, right? What happens? Right, there? it must all get absorbed, right? It gets absorbed. Gotcha. So if we go back to here and think about yeah. this blue um, mirror mm -hmm. that we have, the blue light's reflecting into my eyes, but the rest of the color, the red, the orange, the yellow, the violet, right? They are all being absorbed into it. Gotcha. So we're gonna change the color of the lights that we have right here. Um, for that, we're just gonna have to turn off a lot of lights we have on here and turn on our special ones. All right, so let's go. We're gonna change, turn off the lights and we'll be back in just a second. All right. All right, that was quick. Yeah, all right. So right now I have yeah. a lot of colors going on to this, so we're seeing see. kind of the normal colors that we would. Yeah, I still see blue, red, and green. But what I can do is I can turn off some of those colors. So if I turn off red, and that's a red mirror, yeah. well, that means it won't. There won't reflect. be any red to reflect. And red anymore. Wow. So that red just turned, it looks like black now. Right, now that object, it's still red, but it's not reflecting it because there's no red light hitting it. So I can see that all the other colors are being absorbed by this because they're not being reflected. Exactly, and we can do that with some of the other colors too. So I can turn red back on. Yeah. I can turn that color off. And now that looks like you've cut out the green, right? Mm -hmm. Yep, and we can turn off the blue too. Now everything's looking a little red. Oh. Only red is reflecting. So now I only see the red. And we turn it back. All the other ones back on and see the colors change back. That's incredible. Isn't that awesome? I didn't know you could change the color of things like that. Yeah. yeah. And this is something um, that if you don't have these special lights at your house, you yeah. can still do this at home. I can. Um, so I'm going to show you a couple of ways. So all we have to do is just turn the lights back on. And all right. Back. Let's get to it. All right. Okay. And we're back. So we've got a few different ways we can do this at home. The All first right. thing you're gonna need is you need darkness. So you're either gonna have to wait to do it at night in a room with sure. no lights on, yep. or you can build yourself like a blanket fort. I do like blanket forts, yes. Now, uh, if you have anything in your house that has this type of remote, you can do it. You're gonna wanna take that okay. underneath the blanket with you. And is that because it's got all the colors on there, you can control them yeah, much so like this, your light? This one goes to an LED light strip. Uh, but also they can go to different night lights or different light bulbs and sure. things like that. If sure. you okay. have something with a remote that looks like this, there you go. You change the colors on it and then you'll yeah. see the objects change. And if you don't have that, I have a simple little trick. What we can do is take a regular old flashlight, take some cellophane wrap or a plastic bag, and then I've colored this in with a marker. And now we can put it over top here and when we turn on this, we now have a red light. And once you're okay. in that darkness, you'll be able to see it a lot sure. better. So sure. it's like a little, um, a, a theatrical gel that you can make on your own. Okay, right, that sounds great. Looks like a great activity. And um, if you try this at home, please uh, send it to us, hashtag science at play, or check us out at ConnecticutScienceCenter.org to see this and more great activities you can do. Thanks, Nate. Thanks. Thanks. If you are enjoying this activity, please support the Connecticut Science Center by making a donation.